So you watched our video on authentication of your domain and you want to know specifically how do I do this with Namecheap. Not to worry though, I've broken it down step by step in an easy process for you to follow. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. From your MailerLite dashboard, go ahead and click account settings in the left side toolbar. From here, go ahead and click domains. Under sending domains, let's go ahead and click add domain. From here, you can enter in the email address you would like to use to verify the domain. Once inputted, go ahead and click Save. Now, just go ahead and click the Authenticate button, and a new window will pop up showing you your DKIM and your SPF records. You're going to want to keep this window open as we will be referring to it shortly. Now, in a new tab within your same browser window, go ahead and log into your Namecheap account. Once logged in and in your dashboard, go ahead and click Domain List. From here, locate the domain you would like to authenticate. Then click Manage. On this page, go ahead and click Advanced DNS. And here is where we'll be adding those two new records. Under Host Records, you will see a button that says Add New Record. Let's go ahead and click on that. And now the first record we will be adding is a CNAME record. And for the host information, we can find that on our MailerLite account settings. So let's go back there. And under our DKIM, we are going to actually highlight and copy this information here, leaving the period and the URL alone. Once copied, go back to your Namecheap account and paste that information into the host. We're going to follow a similar format for the value. Once again, let's go back to our MailerLite account settings. Under our DKIM settings, we're going to copy the value. And we're going to go back to our Namecheap account, and we're going to paste that info here under value. Now for our TTL, we can keep at default, which is automatic. And once you are done, go ahead and click the green check mark to save your changes. Now we are going to be adding another record. This record will be our TXT record. So scroll down and find TXT record. And for the host, we are going to simply just add the at symbol. And for the value, we're going to go back to our MailerLite account settings. And under our SPF settings, we're going to copy the value and head back over to the Namecheap account and paste that value here. Once again, we're going to leave our TTL as automatic by default. And to save the changes, we're going to click the green check mark. Do keep in mind, you cannot have two SPF records. So if you do already have one set up, you will need to merge them. You can find more info about this in the description below. Now we can head back to our account settings and you can check the DNS records using this button here. Keep in mind, it could take up to 24 hours for the new records to take effect. To verify if they've worked, head back to your MailerLite account settings, go to the Domains tab and click Authenticate on your domain. Now click on the green Check DNS Records button to make sure the records match. If they do, they'll be approved and your domain will be authenticated. If not, you'll want to reach out to support from your domain provider to troubleshoot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.